Okay, so welcome to the second of my videos. Tonight I'm going to be showing off the um, menu I've written for the awesome Spectronet by Winston, who is a member of the site. Let me get my thing there. Okay, there we go. Um, so we're going to we're going to start the Spectrum from scratch. We're running a 128K plus 3 um, with three ROMs and a Spectronet tagged on the back. So we're going to boot it up there. You can see Spectronet splash page coming up. It discovers an IP and away we go. So now we're just going to um, connect to my server, which you do by percent mount space naught comma quote and the URL which is nugget dot no hyphen IP dot biz uh, put another quote there okay so let's um now we do percent low but quote, and we'll get through to my menu, which is loading now, as you can see. And up it comes. Now this menu, it's got um, more than 2,600 games in it. So you might actually think, well, how difficult is it to actually find a specific game in amongst the menu? Well, you've got your up, down, and left, right keys. Up and down, move the cursor up and down the screen. If you get to the bottom, the next click brings up the next screen. So you can just carry on through that way. But obviously, if you want to play a game that started with Z, that would be quite a long, drawn out process. So you've got the left and right keys. And if I press right a few times there, you can see it goes by one page each time you press left or right. But you can see, with 2,600 games, it's still going to take quite a while to get up to Z. So that's where this search function at the bottom comes up. Now this is something I wrote myself. It's quite fast. Let's say we want, for example, Synapse by Hewson. We can press Z, and we start at the Zs at the top of the screen there. And then we press Y. Okay, and there we go, we're right at the end of the menu. And you can see it's the second one down. So I can get to Synapse with just three buttons on the keyboard. And we click it, and away we go, Synapse. And no, we don't want to cheat. But all these games, they're all cheated, they're all run off the bat, you don't need to do any special functions to get them to load correctly on 128. Um, where there's 128 and 48 versions of the same game, um, the 128 version always loads obviously. Um, later on I'm planning to do a 48k version of the menu, which when you move further on in the menu, pressing what, G or whatever, then it'll page in a new set of data. Because obviously with 48k it won't all fit in the RAM at once. Anyway, so... Let's reboot that and let's see what we can do or what else we can do. Let's just do percent low quote quote. Here we go. I didn't need to put the mount in every time because I've got it set up as my default mount on the on the Spectrum Act. So all I have to do is the low quote quote. Anyone else can do that as well. You know, to set it up as the default. Um, so yeah, I mean, let's say Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I am the, and we can see there, it's like the fifth entry. One, two, three, four, five. And of course, this is the one where I've, it, it used the Fuller Box before for its AY sound, so I've changed the ports to the default one to eight k ports. Um, let's have a bit of a cheat. Infinite lives, yup, infinite bombs. Aliens don't move, that's a little bit boring. <laughs> let's not do that one. Do you have an AY chip installed? Yes. Okay, so then we'll press space and we can hear the 
invasion of the body snatchers with the AY sounds, which is quite a lot more exciting than what it seems to have stopped. It worked for a second, I wonder what happened. Maybe I managed to turn the sound off pressing all the keys I was pressing. Anyway, never mind, let's try something else. You got the idea of it at the start there. <laughs> okay, so let's load it up. Oh, by the way, I'd like to um, say thank you very much to Yasmi for the, for the music. Um, he gave me permission to use this music. It's from our older demo of his. And, and, it's, and it's brilliant. I mean, the first time I added it to the menu, I was jumping around the room. It was, it's just excitement, you know? Isn't it? Just pops, you know? <laughs> um, I'm planning later on to add a nice splash screen, and, and also I'm planning to do... I've also converted all the demos and Russian games, and, you know, there's, there's probably... 8,000 things I've got, and this is 2,600 just over. So there'll be a few more menus, and the splash screen will allow you to select which one of those menus when I'm done. Um, it will take a, it will take a small while longer, but I've got pretty much all the tap files done, so pretty much ready to go. There's a there's a couple of issues with Spectrumet. The first one is that let's get pan loading. The first one is that um, the first one is that. With multi-loads it doesn't work very well because it doesn't loop around to the beginning of the tap file once it gets to the end of it. So let's say you play level 2 and then the game wants to load level 1 again, the Spectrumet stops when it reaches the end of the tap file. Um, Fatware any excess DOS will loop around to the beginning of the tap file again and everything will be good. Maybe there's an option to, to fix that and to get that to work correctly, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm sure you've got a fair old idea of how this menu system works now. Um, if, you want, if you've got a Spectrumet, then try and enjoy it and give me some feedback. Thanks for watching.